Today is the fifth day of fall, and so I thought I would make some chicken fried rice. There's no really correlation between fifth day of fall and chicken fried rice, but it just happens to be the day. I've never made chicken fried rice, so this could either be fantastic or a complete disaster. So far, I've already chilled, I've made the rice last night and chilled it in the fridge. It's supposed to dry out a little bit so it doesn't get too mushy when you add everything else. You can see behind me, I have all my ingredients out. The chicken over there, bean sprouts, green onions, peas, carrots, soy sauce, lemon juice, and of course, the wok. So let's get started. Since the last time you've seen me, I've acquired some new things from wedding showers. One is a really fabulous Cutco knife. Go Cutco. Okay, so scallions first. Next, the carrots, and I have a fabulous new, um, what are these called? Cutters? Shredders? Peelers! Got a new peeler. Now what I actually may do, instead of chopping them into, uh, little chunks, I'm just gonna peel them to have kind of longer, like, medium-sized strips. So, watch this. The frozen peas are pretty easy because they uh, just come out of a frozen bag. And so are the knife. Uh, the bean sprouts are also pretty easy. We actually, one recipe said you keep them all separate and fry them all separately. So that's why each vegetable has its own separate bowl. And finally, we'll uh, salt and pepper the chicken and cut it up and start walking it up. W-O-K. One last final prep is to crush and chop the garlic. And also, crush and chop your opposition politically <laughs> into pieces if they give you any problems too. That's another insider tip. <laughs> garlic, go. Garlic set, let's start cooking. I also just added some uh, red pepper flakes and ground ginger. We'll add the peas first. We'll just add the uh, bean sprouts because they're pretty small. Okay, that's done. Another component of chicken fried rice is adding some scrambled eggs. So while the chicken is still cooking, taking a little longer, just going on medium heat and cooking slowly, uh, we're going to scramble some eggs, and then once those are done, the chicken should be done. We can add the veggies, the rice, the soy sauce, and the final touches. Well, I guess it's more of a fried egg than a scrambled egg, but until then, we'll add the veggies while it's cooking. The egg is finished cooking. We're going to add the rice to the veggies. See that? That way? Okay. We add three tablespoons of soy sauce. Add the egg. And we have chicken fried rice for like eight people, so let's uh, get eating. Since the angle of the camera is this way, I'm sitting in front of the bowl. Here's my plate. Ready? Mm-hmm. 
let's try this. Ooh, I got a piece of chicken, we'll do everything. Good. It's not mm -hmm. too much in the soy sauce, so you feel mm -hmm. it's very saucy. It's a nice flavor. The vegetables are fresh. The rice is good. Good thing I made it last night. James? Well, Emily decided to make this last night at about 2 a.m., <laughs> as opposed to waiting until today to make it. It was 10.30. And I wondered if that would make any difference. And actually, I don't know if it made any difference, because I can't be in an alternate reality and taste <laughs> how the rice would have been had she made it today. But I will say, that today's rice, being made yesterday, is good. Yay! Mm. Let's eat. Bon appetit!